Will Smith was once a man who had Hollywood in a chokehold as he dominated the box office with hit after hit for multiple decades. Building one of the greatest acting legacies we've ever seen in the modern era and leading to massive amounts of success for Will Smith. And for a while, it just seemed like Will could do no wrong. He was basically on top of the world, unstoppable, and for the most part, it seemed like he had the perfect life. A successful career in a field he is passionate about, a big mansion, millions of dollars, a loving wife and kids who are also successful successful in their own right. I mean, for Will Smith, he couldn't ask for a better life. But we will soon begin to learn that the seemingly perfect life that Will Smith had wasn't so perfect after all. And that great legacy that Will has spent so many years building had begun to crumble and fall apart. We would see this crack in the dam in the infamous Red Table Talk episode where Will and Jada converse about their relationship and even address rumors of cheating and whether or not they were in an open relationship. And during this episode, obviously came the infamous intent entanglement statement entanglement being the word that jada would use to describe the relationship she had with another man while still married to will and what happened yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with August. And that was just the first of many, many embarrassing moments for Will Smith. And after all this cheating was just straight up confirmed by Jada, August Alsina, the man that Jada cheated on Will Smith with, even made a song called Entanglement, where he basically sings about fucking Will Smith's wife, Jada. He even said the definition of entanglement is when you tangled in them sheets. Like, like, bro, what the, like, what made him think he had to make a song? about that shit and then on top of that august alcina did a podcast after all that drama where he basically said he was completely and utterly in love with jada pinkett and that he basically got will smith's permission to date her i actually sat down with will and had a conversation he gave me his blessing and i i totally gave myself to that relationship for years of my life. I mean, giving another dude permission to date your wife? <laughs> I mean, come on, bro, that's insane. And you think all that would be embarrassing enough until the infamous 2022 Oscars, where Will would embarrass himself even further by walking up on stage and slapping his good friend Chris Rock just for making a little joke about Jada, and then screaming at Chris Rock from the front row to keep my wife's name out your fucking and while Will did go on to win an Oscar that night, he saw many financial losses due to his actions. Then if that wasn't bad enough, Jada continues to almost routinely make romantic posts about Tupac, even describing him as her soulmate and saying that he proposed to her. And then there's what happened a couple of weeks ago where Will's former assistant and best friend of 40 years, 40 years, spoke about Will on a podcast, claiming that Will Smith has a small dick and was getting his cheeks clapped by fellow actor and friend Dwayne Martin. You saw her say that Will Smith had a small dick? I am saying to you, if a woman is used to something the size of a baby leg and you come in with a pinky toe, there's nothing you can do to please her. And that's when I see Dwayne and having anal sex with Will. Will was bent over on the couch and Dwayne was standing up, killing him. Best friend, 40 years, four decades friendship. And this is the type of shit he say about you. That's insane. And I'm not gonna lie, we all know that all this stuff is kind of funny. All the stuff that's going on is kind of hilarious. All the things happening to Will Smith. I mean, entanglement, Oscars, all the memes and everything. His own friend saying he has a small dick. Like, bro, how, you, how, how would you even know that? But it really makes me wonder, why is all this happening to Will Smith? Like. Why was Will being treated like this? What did he do to deserve this type of treatment? But then after further research, I kind of realized that Will almost did this to himself. For example, if you think about the relationship between Will and Jada, we all know it's a pretty odd one to say the least. And most people would classify her as the toxic one in the relationship. And we can all agree with that, right? But Will is not without blame because Jada never wanted to marry Will to begin with. And it's not because, oh, she's so in love with Tupac or whatever. I mean, that's probably part of it. But the big the biggest reason she never wanted to marry Will is because she didn't believe in the convention of marriage. She didn't believe in marriage as a concept, as an idea. She doesn't believe in the idea of even being married. And she said she felt like she was almost forced into the marriage and pressured by her mother, her grandmother, her friends, her family, and all the constant proposing coming from Will, she kind of just folded and finally gave in. I mean, they even said that she was crying while she was walking down the aisle and she was visibly upset at her own wedding. And it just makes me wonder why Will Smith would want to marry someone who doesn't want to be married. Like, 
Like, why would you do that shit? Like, if I'm getting married to a woman, she crying walking down the aisle. Not no, like, couple little tears of joy. Oh, my gosh, I've been waiting for this day my whole life. No, she's crying because she never wanted to do this shit ever. And you just like, yeah, man, I have my wife right here. Like, what? Like, why would you do that? Why would you marry someone who felt like they were forced to be married to you? Like, I wouldn't want to do that. And it's even just beyond that type of shit. Even, like, the house they live in, she didn't like the house. The house was too big, too expensive, whatever. But Will didn't really give a shit. Even Will's own kids don't think that they are the kids he wanted. There was something about Willow Smith saying that Will has a vision for the kids he wants and they're not those kids. So not only did he have to pressure his wife into marrying him, but his own kids don't feel like they're the kids he wanted. And I think it's really this. I think Will has this vision for what he wanted to be in life. And he had his vision for what he wanted for himself, for his family, for his wife, kids, whatever. But the problem is not everybody was on board with the vision, bro. I mean, starting off with the wife, she didn't even want to be married to you. She doesn't believe in marriage. Same thing with the kids. Oh, I don't feel like we're the kids that daddy wanted. So I think this is all just a culmination of Will trying to force everything to go the way he wants it to go. And that's why Jada has just, she's finally probably just got tired of this shit. She came out, she started dogging him. Now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm not giving no sympathy to Jada. She ain't got to dog this nigga every chance she get. But I'm just saying, he really could have avoided a lot of this shit if he didn't try to force his vision onto everybody else. I mean, if a girl says she don't even believe in the concept of marriage, and I do, why would I marry her? <laughs> That's dumb. If, a, if I ask a woman to marry me, she says, no, okay, I'm good. On to the next. <laughs> like, why would I sit there and be like, no, come on, come on, I have to get married. <laughs> That's stupid. This is all, the entire downfall, all the downward trend that Will has been going on the past three years, it's all his fault. He started this shit off wrong, and now it's coming back to hurt him. And like I said, bro, I'm not giving no sympathy to Jada because at the end of the day, she could have just stood 10 toes down, stood on business and said, no, I'm not going to marry you. But she didn't do that. She still she still made the decision. It's not like Will put a gun to her head. But at the same time, why would Will get married to someone who felt like they were pressured into marrying you? Like, that's insane, bro. But let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. And let me know what y'all think about Will Smith's former assistant. All the shit he was saying, talking about Will Smith got a little dick and shit. Like, <laughs> like I don't know what made him want to say that. Let me know what y'all think about all that. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Do you think Will Smith has a big part to play in his own downfall? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit it with a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Turn on post notifications for this video. On our road to 1,500 subscribers, like yourself so we can get there. Thank you all for your support. Thank you for watching this video. And thank you to everybody that's been subscribing. I'm out, though. Catch you guys next time.